Hello everyone. Welcome to Celebration Sunday. I'm Ruth Norton with Ruth Stamping Corner. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my lights as usual. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining me today. I have a lot to talk about. This is the gorgeous card we are making today. This uses the brand new Adorable Owl Celebration Stamp Set. You can earn this stamp set for free. I'm going to tell you exactly how to earn it for free. And we're going to make this gorgeous background this watercolor background. We're going to work on our little owl. It's just a simply gorgeous card. So we're going to work on this in just a minute. Before we do, let's talk about everything. Paper Pumpkin, the deadline to sign up for January's Paper Pumpkin is coming up quickly. That is coming up on January 10th, which is this week. It's just in a couple of days. So if you want January's Paper Pumpkins to sign, <laughs> this is January's Paper Pumpkin. Um, the Key to My Heart Paper Pumpkin, it's nine cards. Uh, three each of three designs and there is a little heart box add-on that you can add on in my online store when you shop you can add that on if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber but don't forget if you want january's paper pumpkin kit you have to subscribe by january 10th right uh, the deadline for this class is also coming up this week this is my card crate this month card crate is my class to go i send you the class in the mail and then you make it on your own time you also get a pdf and video instructions this month i'm featuring the sweet citrus bundle you're going to get $20 in product too. Card Crate is $35. It is an amazing value. And we're using this um, Sweet Citrus Bundle to make four amazing over-the-top gorgeous cards. So if you are interested in Card Crate, you can add on the bundle. If you don't already have the bundle, you can add that on. And um, if you're interested in that, though, there is a link in the video description for Card Crate. So you can head there, get all the details on Card Crate. The deadline to sign up is coming up this week. I think it's this Friday, I think. Um... So make sure that you check that out if you are interested in that card crate. It's it's such a good deal. And the cards this month are gorgeous. So check that out. Our mini catalog is live. If you have not already started shopping from this catalog, make sure you do. There are tons of amazing products in here. If you don't have a copy of this and you were in the United States and you don't already have a demonstrator, I'd love to send you a copy. Please just message me or email me and I would be happy to get that in the mail for you. All right. We are in celebration celebration started on thursday when the catalog went live celebration is the best time of the year i love celebration it is it's so much fun and um and then i get to do this fun series in my vip group the celebration sunday series um so every product in here this is the one we're going to do today these adorable owls every product in here is free you earn it free you don't, can't purchase these you can only earn them for free some products can be earned with a $50 purchase and there are a few products in here that can only be earned with a hundred dollar purchase this paper is incredible um, this is a good one to split with a friend too so if you each put in a $50 order you can choose this as your celebration item and then you can split it there are 48 sheets in this one and so it's it's a really, really good one. We're actually probably going to use this one a lot throughout the Celebration Sunday series. Um, there are more products in here than there are Sundays. So I will be doubling up on a few products every week. And that um, Dandy Designs PSP is probably going to get a lot of a lot of use. So watch for that coming. Um, also during Celebration, there is an incredible joint offer. So if your wish list is pretty long, which is easy to do, um, or you've been thinking about joining Stampin' Up, this is a great time to join. So let me show you this flyer. This is the incredible deals that you can get during Celebration. When you join, there are three options to join. Now, option one and two are similar. They each are $129. You pay $129. You don't pay shipping. Shipping is free, so you're only going to pay some tax on that. And then you get to choose either the Boho Blue mini cut and emboss machine or the white mini cut and emboss machine which i i have obviously but it's not in reach so i'm just going to show you the boho blue one for now each of these is a 63 dollar value and you're going to get it for free now when you pay 129 dollars, you get to choose 175 dollars in free product well not free product but i mean you get to choose 175 dollars so you're going to pay 129 you're going to get this machine or the white one for free and you get to choose $175 in product. So that's options one and two. Option three is similar, but if you don't want either of the machines, maybe you already have the white one and you really don't need a second one, um, option number three is the best one for you. You're gonna pay $99 and you get to choose $175 in product. So it's an incredible deal. 
you can, any one of these is an incredible deal. This is probably the best join offer I have ever seen. The little mini machines are just phenomenal. They're especially good for taking on the go. So if you are crafting anywhere on the go, they're great to just sit on your desk. They're small, they're portable, they're light. They're fantastic and you can get it for free, a $63 value for free. Um, so if you have any questions or if you want to join, there is a link to join in the video description. But if you have any questions, I would love to welcome you to my team. Um, you can contact me um, messenger or um, email and I would love to help you set up your starter kit. All right, this is the card we're making today. So Celebration Sunday, I told you every Sunday I will come live and we're going to focus on a specific celebration product. Now I put a poll out earlier this week or early last week, I guess we're at the new, beginning of a new week, but I put a poll out and said, did you want to see Adorable Owls or the Thanks a Bunch? And it was pretty overwhelming. You guys all wanted the Adorable Owls. So this is what we're going to do today. Now, don't worry if you did want the Thanks a Bunch stamp set, we will get to that one. I love that one. So and I have some fun ideas with that one. So we're going to get to that one. Don't worry. But we're actually going to start on this one. We're going to start with this beautiful background, this watercolor background. And we're going to do a watercolor smush background is what I like to call it. So start with some scratch paper. I did forget to mention, if you are shopping in my online store, please make sure to use this host code. All orders receive a PDF with three exclusive projects. If your order is over $50 or more, you're going to receive a make and take kit that coordinates with that PDF. Plus, if your order is over $50, you're going to get a celebration item for free. You can choose something for free. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're going to get celebration rewards for yourself. Okay, let's get started on our card. And I'm going to um, move this off to the side while we do this because it's going to get a, a little bit messy. So you want to protect your service, get some scrap paper, some grid paper, put that down. And we're going to work on this background. The paper that I'm using is shimmer white paper. You could also use watercolor cardstock. I don't recommend using our basic white cardstock because we're going to spray this with some water. And our basic white cardstock, even the thick one, is just not made to handle water. I'm getting some shadows here, which I do not enjoy, but... Um, we'll see if we can fix that. But the watercolor cardstock and the shimmery cardstock will both handle water nicely. So make sure you have a piece of that. Now this is just a quarter sheet of cardstock. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to trim this down. But I like to start with a bigger piece. Now the other thing that I have here is a piece of acetate or window sheet. Now this is actually, I'm kind of reusing. I am using, if you get a photopolymer stamp set, they come with the, this plastic sheet that the stamps are on. So I am using this thicker one. You can see the thicker ones that it comes with. You can use the thinner one too, but the thicker one is a little bit better, especially for this technique. So that is what I have here. I just have a piece from a stamp set that I already mounted into my stamp case. And so that's what I'm going to use here is this one. All right, so we're going to start on our on our little acetate piece. If you don't have a a sheet from the from a stamp set, you can just use a a, a window sheet. You can cut any kind of plasticking you have. You can also use like wax paper or um, parchment paper would also work, but again, those are a little bit more flimsy and we're going to be picking this up and moving it around after we get it all inked up. So, um, just keep that in mind. All right. I have three colors here. I have pale papaya, fresh freesia, and polished pink. Now, if these are colors you love, these colors are going to be retiring in just a few months. So stock up on your cardstock, your inks, your ink refills, your markers, stock up on all that now. Now, all I'm going to do is take my ink pad. Now, if you have Stampin' Spots, if you have the little squares of these colors or whatever colors you're using, that would work well, too. You want to make sure that you work with colors that are going to play nicely together. Um, so make sure you go back to your, your elementary school color education, which colors blend well together. You don't want to do like a green and a purple together because that's going to turn brown. So I'm using colors that are pretty complementary to each other. And you can see I'm not making this pretty at all. I'm just smushing color on here. Just I'm doing them in different locations and just kind of smushing it on there. I'm going to close these after I'm done. And then the pale papaya. I probably should have started with the pale papaya because it's the lightest color and I don't want to contaminate my pads. But, you know, sometimes we don't think right. When we're talking. All right. I'm going to stick one right over here. So once you get it kind of on there, 
get all your ink on there. I'm going to pick this up so you guys can see it. That I know that this is reflecting on my light, but as you can see, kind of that ink is on there. Here's what we're going to do next. You're going to grab a Stampin' Spritzer. These are in the annual catalog. You get two of these for $3.25. You guys, these are such a good value. I have just filled mine up with water, and you're just going to spray this a couple of times. You don't want it to be over wet, but you want the water to, to start moving that ink. Okay, so you can kind of see the water is moving that ink around. I'm going to bring in my my shimmery white piece or your watercolor piece, whatever you're using. We're going to turn this over and we're just going to smush that down. And you can see once it's on there, that water is moving. You press this down, smush it all around, all that water moving around under there. Now you have a couple options here. You can either leave the acetate on here to dry or peel it up. If you want to add more water to this, if you want it to move a little bit more, you can spray it again. Just kind of let it go. You can also use an aqua painter or a water painter and kind of move that color around too. I'm just going to let this kind of move around. I'm going to do this again. I have another piece. Do I have another piece? I do. So we're going to do it again. I'm going to show you one more time. I'm actually going to turn this one upside down so that we can work on a clean piece of acetate. Get some water off of that. All right, my hands are going to be inky. Let's start with the pale papaya this time so we can get more of that. And my my scratch paper underneath is pretty inky, so you're, we're not going to get, especially in the video, you're not going to be able to see um, exactly where all this ink is. So I'm going to come back in with my polished pink. Now this is a really fun technique. If you've never done watercolor, this is such an easy watercolor technique. If you've never done a lot of watercoloring, um, this is a great way to start because um, it's so easy. I'm going to add just a little bit more water to this one just to get it to move a little bit more. All right. I'm going to bring in my shimmery white piece. I'm going to flip this over. We're going to push that down. This one I like a lot better. Look at how that moves. It's so pretty. Can you guys see that? Oh, so pretty. So just give that a smush. I'm going to peel this up. And I'm just going to kind of dab off some of that. You can see just how gorgeous that is. This one spread a little bit more because I added more water than this one. So you're going to get more defined areas of color with the less water you add. But if you want more um, smushed color, if you want the more to bleed more, add more water. Okay, these are going to curl. As you can see, they will flatten out again as they dry. But I'm going to move all of this out of the way. We're going to let these dry. We'll come back to them in just a minute. In the meantime, let's work on the rest of our card. Let's do our stamping for our little owl. I'm going to move those inks out of the way. I have, oh, my desk is all pink now. <laughs> I have um, a piece of shimmer white to stamp my owl on. I want to use the same white for my owl. Let me see. I have all my pieces here. Oh, here it is. Goodness gracious. It's going to be a long Facebook Live today, I think. I thought I was so organized. I had stuff already. Um, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're going to stamp our little owl. You can use any of the little owls. I wanted the one that was flying because I want it to kind of look like he's flying on the card. So Stampin' Memento. We're going to do some coloring. I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Blends. I have polished pink here. Let me start with my dark polished pink. I was just making sure they were polished pink. Kind of look like Melon Mambo for a minute. So just wanted to double check. All right, now my dark, I'm just going to go around this little V on his face. And then under his chin, and just down the left side of his belly here. That's with the dark. And then with the light, we're just going to come in and blend that out. Just like that on his belly. And we're going to do the same for his face. Just going to blend that out and kind of go up the ears a little bit. Turn it this way so we can blend it. Now, if you wanted to do a fresh freesia owl, you could also do that if you wanted to do um, pale papaya owl, you could do that. We're going to use pale papaya for his beak and his feet though, so um, you can make your owl whatever color you want. All right, pale papaya, pale papaya dark for the bottom of his beak and the kind of the top of his beak right here. And then for his feet, just where the they're closest to his body, the little leg part, and come in with the light and just blend that out. This is a pretty small area. 
his feet and his beak, so I'm not doing a whole lot of blending, just adding some color, really. All right, I have some light pool party, and that's for his eyes. Just go around, I'm not doing any blending for his eyes. Just do some light pool party, just like that. And then finally, we have some crumb cake, and I'm gonna start with my dark again, and just around that V again. I'm gonna add some dark along his chin, add some dark on this side, around the chin on this side, and then under his head, on the bottom of all of these little wings, add the dark down the side of his belly, and then under his wings will be a little bit dark. All right, now we're gonna come in with our light crumb cake, and we're just gonna blend all that out. We're not doing a whole lot of super fancy coloring on our owl because we really want the focus to be that beautiful background. He's gonna pop up on the card, but that beautiful background is such a gorgeous focus. And the inside of his ears, just a little bit in there. But this is, he is so cute. And you can color them however you want. Okay. So next week for Celebration Sunday, I think we are going to do the Thanks a Bunch stamp set, and we will be doing the Dandy Designs also. I have a really fun project to share with you guys with that, with both of those. I'm really excited about that, so you'll see that next Sunday. I will also be live this week on Wednesday. I'm back to my normal schedule. This week on Wednesday, I will be live in my business page, so you can catch me there. All right, isn't that cute? He is so cute. All right. So we are going to fussy cut him out. There are no dies, but he is actually not too hard to fussy cut. I didn't do a lot of this in advance, so he has some extra time on the video to do it, which is fine. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. It did take quite a bit of time off. The kids had, I feel like it was a longer break than normal, but maybe not. They are back in school now, which is great. He had a very eventful uh, Christmas break. My son got his driver's license. My daughter got braces. So it's been, it's been quite a whirlwind. So we're getting used to the braces. And then my son has his license so he can get himself to work now. We're just waiting on those new insurance cards that, that show that he's insured before we're really letting him out. But Oh, it's always a little nerve wracking, right? All right, so that didn't take too long. So we just fussy cut him, leave a little white border around that black line. Okay, now let's work on the rest of our card. I have some cloud pieces here. I have one that I've already cut. These are gonna go um, on the back. So we just wanna get all our pieces together. I am using the basic borders dies for these. So these are the basic borders dies. We're gonna cut another piece here. This piece was about two and a half by three and three quarters. This one is about one and a half by three and three quarters. I'm just using scraps of paper, so there's no exact measurements on here. But you want two that are one's taller than the other, and um, we're going to run that through. Um, how do I feel about him driving? So that is a question. It is, um, you know, it's nerve wracking. <laughs> he's he's a pretty good driver. I've driven with him a few times. He's a good driver, but you know, it's it's a little nerve wracking. He hasn't been out on his own yet, um, mostly because we're still waiting on those insurance cards to come in. We don't want to let him out. But, um, yeah, I'll probably be a wreck when he's out of the, the first few times. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm using my brand new mini boho machine to do this. Okay, of course, it's going to give me trouble because this is a video. The mini machines, I will say, you need to stagger the plates a little bit. I always have success when I stagger the plates. Um, just a little bit. You don't need to stagger them a lot, but they seem to go through a lot better when they're staggered. And go put my machine off to the side isn't it pretty you guys you can earn that for free simply by joining all right okay, so we have our little cloud layer there all right I think we are all set I've already stamped my greeting and I have die cut that out so let me pull that out of my little box here now my greeting is die cut from the the cracker treat box dies I use this little stitch label up here. Now this die also has these fun little accent pieces, these little stars. I die cut a bunch of those and we're gonna use those on our cards too. I die cut those in pale papaya. So let's get all our pieces together. 
I also have a circle that I die cut with the stylish shapes dies for that and the rest of our card pieces for our card we have a polished pink card base this is four and a quarter by eleven I scored it at five and a half and we have a pale papaya layer that goes on top of that that is four by five and a quarter and then because our pieces are still drying over there I have a couple that I've done in advance so I wanted to show you guys the difference between these two this one I added less water so you can see how pretty that is and there's more of the um, fresh freezer showing this one I added a lot of water and you can see it, it's still gorgeous I'm still gonna use this for a project but it's a little bit more washed out the colors are not as defined as this one is so you can see just by the amount of water you add you're gonna get different looks now we do need to trim this down a little bit so let me grab my paper trimmer and we are going to trim this down to three and three quarters and actually I'm gonna take a little bit off of each side because I just want some clean lines here so three and three quarters I'm gonna line that up the paper is still a little bit curled but once we glue it down it'll be just fine and then we want to line that up to five so I'm gonna take a little bit off each side again we're gonna line this up to the five so your finished size for your um, shimmer white paper is going to be three and three-fourths by five so we're just trimming that down move this out of the way and so there are all of our pieces so let's start assembling this together isn't that gorgeous it's such a beautiful background now, i'm not a big watercolorer but this uh watercolor smush technique is really it's really good for people who maybe are not comfortable with watercoloring it's really um it's really fun too it's kind of addicting you'll get hooked on it so i'm putting lots of adhesive on the back of this piece because it is a little bit curled we just want to make sure that it sticks nice and sturdy so this goes right onto your pale papaya piece Just something that perfect we're gonna stick our clouds on too before we stick this on so my big cloud that goes in the back I'm gonna put some just some stamp and seal on this one that's gonna go on the back so decide what you want to be your top and your bottom I think this I want to be my my top oh you know what that's not trimmed to three and three quarters hello let's trim that up just a little bit it needs to be three and three quarters to go across here oh what did I do I trimmed off too much now didn't I oh brother okay <laughs> we're gonna go with it it's okay I'm gonna trim off a little bit of this let me see how much do I need to trim it needs to be a quarter inch I'm just gonna do it this way well, okay, bear with me guys. I told you this one was gonna be a little bit rough. So bear with me. It already has adhesive on it too, so it's all sticky. Clearly I did not trim my pieces well enough. This one's gonna be a little bit pieced together, but I think it'll be okay. We'll cover it up with some sequins. There we go. Perfect. You'll never know, right? There's no mistakes. All right, this little piece is gonna get popped up on dimensionals, which I do have handy so just hide those dimensionals behind the little clouds and I'm gonna pop this up just another layer down here oh my goodness this one's not trimmed correctly either we move this dimensional over okay we're gonna trim this one correctly three and three fourths not three and a half three and three fourths I'm gonna get one more dimensional for this side okay and this one goes right along the bottom. This is going to give us some nice layers of clouds. Just ignore that little piece right there. <laughs> All right. Let's get our, our owl onto our vellum piece. Now, I popped him up on vellum because if you put him on here, I felt like he kind of disappeared a little bit. So with the vellum, he kind of stands out a little bit. And it gives us some extra opportunity to add more dimensionals. So a couple dimensionals on the back of our owl. And... That goes right on our vellum, and then we can add more dimensionals on the back of our vellum. And we can hide them behind the owl, so you'll never see any of that dimension. So I'm just going to stick that on. Let's just stick it on this side now. Let's stick it right here. Okay, so there is our little owl. All right, we have our greeting piece here. Now I have a tiny little piece of the Simply Elegant trim. This is the silver piece. This is all I have left of this trim. I love this trim. I'm all out of the gold. 
It comes in silver and gold. And I am just kind of folding it in half. I'm making a little figure eight here. And I'm going to attach that to the back of this piece right behind the greeting. I'm going to kind of hold that in place. And I'm going to use a dimensional to secure that. Secure it in place just like that. And then we're going to use another dimensional on the back of there. And we're going to stick this onto our card. So let me get the backing off. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to stick that on. This is my friend up here. This greeting is from the Adorable Owl set. Just trim that off. I'm going to use my scissors for that one. All right, now we're ready to stick this onto our card base. And then it's just about finishing up those, those pieces. Okay. So let me stick this on. Now I told you that I die cut from that Cracker Treat box dies. I die cut a bunch of stars. So let me get those out. So a bunch of stars and we're going to stick those on now. Here is a little Fresh Frita owl. I wanted to show you both of the, the little Fresh Frita the Fresh Frigia and the Polish Pink. So you can really decide if you'd rather have the Fresh Frigia Owl or the Polish Pink one. I really like the Polish Pink, but um, you can decide what you want. All right, a little bit of the Tombow glue. We're gonna add some of these pale papaya stars. This one's almost out, so let's see. I'm just gonna add some. I think five is good. And I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool. You can put adhesive sheets on the back of these stars to adhere them down a little bit easier. Um, that requires thinking in advance, obviously, before you die cut them. But it would make for quick adhering. But the Take Your Pick tool and the little liquid glue works really well, too. All right, so there's my stars. Now to add even more sparkle... I have these uh, Sparkle and Shine sequins. These are in the annual catalog. And I'm going to pull some of these out. These are fun because they're silver and white and kind of iridescent. And there's stars and there's little pearl things. So there's a huge variety of things in here. And so I'm just going to go through, add some little dots of glue. You know, all around. We'll work in a, a few at a time. And we're just going to go through and carefully add those. Do some stars. This is a little bit like surgery. <laughs> a little bit tedious, but I think it's totally worth it because it adds so much, so much stuff, so much um, texture, variety. Oop, I had two sequins there. Just get another one. I need more glue. So I'll put a couple more up here. So you can really do as many or as little as you want with these little sequins. They're a lot of fun. Put a little iridescent one there and they add a lot, especially for the card in person. So put one there and one more star on my star there. All right, so I think, I think that's it. I think it's pretty gorgeous as is. Let me move these out of the way before we make a mess with my glue. And that is the adorable owls watercolor background. It is so cute. You can really do this with such a variety of different colors, work on that background, and um, really have fun with it. I think it's a lot of fun. All right, if you do want to earn this adorable owl set for free, you can do it by shopping in my online store. You can earn this one with a $50 purchase in my online store between now and February 28th. Make sure that you shop early to get the best selection. Celebration products are only available while supplies last. So I want to um, make sure to mention that so you don't miss out on anything that you really want. If you were with us during the last celebration in the summer, you guys know some of those little the little trailer dice sold out very quickly. So don't let your favorites get away. I will be live on Wednesday in my business page. So you can join me there. Otherwise, I'll be back right here on Sunday next week for the Celebration Sunday series part two and next week i think we'll be using the thanks a bunch and the dandy designs dsp so two celebration products next week if you are shopping make sure to use this host code in my online store for orders under 150 orders over 150 don't use the host code if you're watching this on facebook please share this with your crafty friends if you're on youtube please like and subscribe to my channel that really helps me out that helps my business grow and it's free for you and you never miss a video all right guys thank you so much for joining me i will see you guys in a couple days in a, or in a week. Bye.